Bradley Battle Brian. Bat. All right, Brent, thank you. And you know as well as I do that if you watch Larry Bird long enough, you start saying to yourself, how does he do those things? Well, we finally wanted to know just that. So we sat Larry down and some of the other greats of the game to talk about the elements of style because superstars definitely have a different way of playing basketball. Michael Jordan is as stylish as they come. Irvin Johnson's style is sometimes pure magic. And Charles Barkley's is flash and brute force. They will write their styles into basketball history. If you were writing a book about basketball, the people you just saw would merit a chapter or two. But ask any basketball expert, and they'll tell you that if you're rewriting the story of basketball, the author, Larry Bird. Chapter one. I just shoot any type of shot. I'm not afraid to, to take an off-balance shot or, or a three-point shot. I just get in one of them grooves, and I don't know what makes it go in. Sometimes it releases out my hand before I even think about it. I think it's just the fact that I've shot some of these shots a million times. He squares up. Uh, very seldom does he take a bad shot. I think his background in, in Indiana has, has, just, has been tremendous help to him because I think players who come from that part of the country, especially Indiana, get the great fundamentals. Chapter two is passing. While all of Larry's passes may not be fundamental, in this chapter, he always seems to get the ball there. I realize that you can move the ball up the court a lot quicker if you pass it, opposed to dribbling it up. Some of the passes I make, I try, that uh, really might have a very slim chance of making it, but um, you, know, you gotta try it, because if you get double team, there's, there, there's an opportunity that somebody's gonna be open somewhere. He has such supreme confidence in his passing ability. He knows if he draws two people, he's probably going to produce something better in, in the form of a layup. Bird does it instinctively. It doesn't take any effort. He doesn't have to turn his head. He looks at the entire floor, and he sees movement and color. Now, in this chapter, the other team has the ball. But when Larry's on the court, not for long. It's all anticipation. You watch the other team. You, you watch the plays that they call. You watch the plays that the coach calls from the bench and you anticipate where the ball's going and you anticipate what your man's supposed to do and you just go from there. It's a lot of luck. Tony holds the ball and Bird steals the ball from Tony. And that's it. It's all over. He isn't blessed with a great deal of jumping ability, but he's blessed with knowing where to put his body. He puts his body on the right part of the floor to defend. He's, he has great anticipation. And the final chapter in the clutch, we find out just why Larry Bird is rewriting the book of basketball and soaring over all challengers. With a dedication unmatched in sports, we now know why they say, get the ball to Larry. Sometimes he gets in the fourth quarter the, and three or four minutes ago and everybody will come and say, okay, Larry, it's time to take over. You know, that's the greatest feeling in the world. Here you're playing with uh, some of the best players in the game and here they come to you and say, okay, it's time to take over, take over the game. And uh, that's a heck of a feeling. Larry Bird has not only rewritten the His name is Isaiah Thomas, and these hands pull the trigger.